Uh, Swansea versus Everton. Everton 2.62, Swansea 2.8, and then the draw 3.5. Uh, you've got a team obviously fighting relegation, uh, Swansea. It is an absolute must win, and they are on their turf. Everton keen to bounce back from uh, a loss to Chelsea uh, where they failed to score. Um, I'm staying away from the outrights, even though they all look quite tempting. I just very tough um, to predict a team fighting relegation. Uh, what are you going for, big man? Uh, yeah, I went with the over here on the uh, best bet show at uh, 1.91. Obviously, Swansea with Hall battling there uh, to not get relegated. Obviously, I think they're going to have to go for it and score goals here. Uh, they're also the worst defensive side in the Premier League. They're going to give up goals as well. I think with a guy like Romelu Lukaku, I think goals are in uh, for Everton. They're a team that I think is, is kind of uh, – they're they're disappointing. They're not going to advance. I don't think they've just haven't been able to win games when they needed to. Five of seven have gone over for the Blues. Um, I hope Lukaku can find the back net. I think this is a two-one type of game. I think it'll be pretty up and down. Both these teams are really desperate for wins here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sort of on the same page here. But I'm going for both teams to score one point seven. Um, I think we're going to see from goal sides so goals from both sides. Swans are obviously fighting relegation. They don't have the tightest defense. And uh, Everton on the road, both teams to score 1.7. Martin, what do you like? Yeah, I'm shying away from the outrights here just because I'd be a bit worried with a team like Swansea battling relegation. They're starting to pick up points. They beat Stoke and then they got a very, very creditable draw with Man United last time out. I think they, them and Hull are both starting to build up ahead of steam and it's looking like an interesting relegation battle. Um, having said that, Everton are a very good side and have done fantastic. Ooh this year so I just think going for any time goal scorer Romelu Lukaku to score at 2.35 just looks really good Swansea have been conceding a lot of goals this season they've conceded mm -hmm. nine in 35 games so they've basically conceded two per game and Everton are very good going forwards and everything goes through Lukaku he is their their uh, target man so 2.35 Romelu Lukaku anytime goal scorer hey Natalie yeah. Yeah. Can I just make it? I have a question for Martin. What do you think? You don't think they can keep him, right? No, I don't think so. I think this is one season too many for them. Sure. They they have they have promised to start spending money, and I think if they showed an amazing degree of ambition in the summer and went out and bought a few players for like thirty forty million pounds each, then he might be tempted to stay. But but he's going to ask for big money too, so. Yeah, I think I, I I can see him going back to Chelsea. He's he's exactly what they need. I think Diego Costa's head's been turned by overtures from China. I can see him going there for a massive payday, or maybe to maybe to the States, and then that will leave a gap. And it, it will be a bit like Pogba going back to Man United, right. a club where he was a young player and didn't really quite make the grade. And then he can go back as a superstar, and they'll put everything through him. He's big, strong, powerful. I think they'll pay him incredible wages and Everton will probably look at that as a pretty good deal done if they bought him for 30 million and then they'll sell him for 60 or 70 million and they've got a good few seasons out of him and then they can reinvest that in the rest of the squad so yeah I can see that happening I think there might be a bit of competition but yeah, so. uh, must be nice. yeah he's been fantastic yeah. but I think Chelsea is the one that, that will really make a big move for him Sure. Yeah. Also got a Shanali route saying um, Everton draw no bet. I think if I was going to play it, it would be a draw no bet. I'm just worried that, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm more worried maybe of, of a draw in this match. So why it's better to play draw no bet. Um, Martin, if you had to play uh, um, big man saying no, uh, not in a game like this, would you why go any just, thoughts? Why don't you just go goals? I mean, there's going to be goals. Um, mm. you, you know, you don't want to, you're not in this to get your money back. You're in this to win money. And I think we're seeing goals. You would agree, Martin, right? I would agree, yeah. I think we'll see goals in this game. Swansea aren't really the type of team to sit back. They're not a, they're not a defensive-minded side. It's not really in their DNA. And I think they, they really need three points. I mean, they're two points behind Hull with only three games left to play. So there's only nine points up for grabs. A draw isn't really much good for them. So they're really going to be going yeah. through it. And it could pay off. But then they could get stung on the counter-attack with players of Lukaku's quality. And they've got, they've got a very good supporting cast at Everton. So just a bit, just a bit uneasy about the, um, about the outrights here. I think there's more value to be having goals and goal scorers.